Making Star. The distinct flavors that bring food to life and make your mouth water come from the art of using innumerable spices and herbs to create unique cuisines from around the world. We have nine contestants who bring their passion and dedication as home cooks to the camera nationwide. We've put together an intense cooking competition where our contestants will race to win the first ever ShopRite Cooking Star title and award. ShopRite Cooking Star! Welcome to ShopRite Cooking Star competition. Food is a part of our daily life, but it is an art to create a dance of flavor with the ingredients. Welcome back, and thanks for joining us for the second episode of ShopRite Cooking Star. In the first episode, we had fierce competition between our three contestants, and Millie became the winner of our first episode. We have an evening filled of surprises once again, where three new contestants will be challenged to show their skill, not only cooking, but senses as well. Let's welcome our New three contestant, Geeta, Sham, and Sangeeta. You have been used to cooking your favorite dishes for your family and loved ones. And I hope you are ready to bring the same level of dedication in making something extraordinary. I am certainly eager to taste your dishes. But before you begin, let's get to know you a little better. Uh, so I'm Geeta Gwalani. Um, aside of work, uh, my passion is in cooking. Uh, I read somewhere that um, cooking is love made edible. My name is Sham Sharma. I grew up in North Jersey and I currently work in technology strategy. When I'm not at work, I spend a lot of time in the outdoors, kayaking, camping, hiking, and um, I volunteer with a couple of nonprofit organizations. My name is Sangeeta Jain. I live in Fort Lee. I have been living in USA for past 27 years. Um, I'm a teacher. I teach in high school, uh, special ed, and cooking is my passion. Cooking is a great skill. And what's the best way to show someone how much you love and care about them? Well, by cooking for them and by cooking delicious food on top of that. Geeta, Shaman Sangeeta. Before you begin round one, before we begin the cooking process, of course, it's essential to handpick the right ingredients. So, we are off to our neighborhood shop ride. As you saw in the first episode, how our host and chef Mickey Chopra tested our contestants in the exciting ShopRite Shopping Challenge. Welcome to the ShopRite Shopping Challenge. You have exactly 15 minutes to find all the ingredients before your time runs out. Your time starts now. The number of spices that I see in the store uh, are, are amazing. I mean, it's it's just amazing the number of uh, choices you have, the variety you see in the store. Not only does ShopRite have a lot of great produce and ingredients available, they're also a fantastic community partner. Many of the nonprofits I've volunteered with in the past have relied on ShopRite for assistance during times of hardship. I found pretty much everything that I wanted for my dish. And uh, I always love ShopRite because that's the best place to shop. Always good prices and nobody can beat ShopRite. Stay tuned and we'll be right back. ShopRite Cooking Star. In our first round, each of you have the chance to prepare your absolute favorite dish. I am sure you three will make your presence felt by cooking something delicious for us in round one. Remember, it's about taste, creativity, 
presentation and execution. You have exactly 20 minutes to cook a dish of your choice with the ingredients from ShopRite. Your time starts now. Dishes are often rooted in emotion. For many, the process of cooking brings back a wide range of memories and experience. Tita, what are we doing here? So I'm sauteing some mushrooms here in ghee. And then here I have, um, I'm roasting the masalas um, in, again, ghee, because this is mushroom ghee roast. Sham, what's happening here? This is the stuffing for the uh, spicy crunch wrap masala. Spicy crunch wrap masala? That's right. Wow. Sangeeta ji. Hi, chef. How wow. are you? Wow. What's happening here? What's cooking? So I'm cooking this tortilla wrap, but with all this Rajasthani accent in it. That looks good. Five minutes to go. Contestant, one minute left. Seven, six, five, four, three, one, tools down. Shop right cooking star. We will bring Shama first. Sham, this looks amazing. Tell us what you made. Thank you, Chef. This is a spicy masala crunch wrap. So it's got a lot of uh, Tex-Mex and Indian fusion. It's got beans, paneer holds everything well together inside. A um, lot of vegetables and it's really spicy. There's also a fresca salsa that's fresh made on the side with mm. some flavored chips. The crunch wrap that inside you put in, I think you put something crunchy inside. Mm -hmm. That got uh, soggy very quickly. I was hoping for crunch, but it still tastes good. Presentation is very well. Thank you. Thank you. Next up, we have Gita. Gita, tell us what you made for us. So I've made um, ghee roast, uh, which is um, from the south of India. Okay. So it is it is spicy. It's, it's uh, the paste itself has um, red chili and uh, garlic, okay. um, also some cashew. Um, then to give it that little tangy uh, flavor, there is tamarind pulp and also some jaggery. I see here tsunami of all different uh, spices in there. Uh, the only thing I have to uh, uh, say on this dish, to me, the masala of the uh, ghee roast seems like a little bit overdone uh, because I can see some bitterness of some of the spices in, in my mouth. Uh, so that's the only thing I can think of it. But overall, it looks great. Thank you again. Please take your dish. Last but not the least, we have Sangeeta here. Wow. This is my tortilla wrap with a Rajasthani twist on it. Okay. So as you know, the talbati churma is the famous dish. The churma is here, papar, gatte, chutney, and the pickle. And the tortilla wrap has four corners. I put four different things and there's a chutney in there salad and the 
aloo that goes in the bati. I don't think after this I need to eat anything anymore. Yeah. Tastes good, filling's really good. Uh, only thing I got is uh, burnt tortilla taste. You notice when I picked it up, the other side of yeah. the tortilla was burnt. And the one, so the consistency of tortilla should be the same. Mm -hmm. uh, but overall, you know, fillings are great. And uh, all the sides are something different. Good job. Thank you. Uh, please take your dish to your station. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. Our next round, we won't be testing their cooking skill or knowledge. Instead, our contestant will need a whole different skill set to win. In round two, we have really fun segment ahead of you. We are going to blindfold you. We're gonna play a game. So let's do this. We have three bags here with the five items in each bag. You're gonna have to guess by touching, feeling, smelling it. The only thing you cannot do is tasting. So let's bring our first contestant, Gita. And Gita, your time starts now. You have five ingredients in front of you. Cinnamon. All right. Um, raspberry. All right, good job. Uh, paneer, cheese. No, it's tofu. Pomegranate. No, it's beet. Lemon. No, it's lime. Thank you, Gita. Sangeeta, you're next up. You ready, Sangeeta? Yes. Your time starts now. Tamarind. Very good, good job. Like uh, some citrus food. Orange, orange? No, it's plum. Oats? No, incorrect, it's cardamom. Remember, you can smell. Eggplant. Very good. Radish? Yes, correct. Thank you so much. And last but not the least, Sham. And your time starts now. They are right in front of you. It's like fen um, uh, fennec leaves? No, it's rosemary. Avocado? Correct. Papaya? Correct. These mung beans? Mung beans, correct. Um, like apricots, peach? Correct, it is apricot. Good job, very good. Gita, Shaman Sangeeta will compete again for the third and the final round after we come back from a quick break. Shop right, cooking star. Shop right, cooking star. Creativity in the kitchen is so essential. 10 people can make one dish 10 different ways. Creativity in the cooking differentiate us from one another and give us the motivation to create mouth-watering, incredible, attractive dishes. On your cooking island, you will find certain ingredients which are the same for all of you. Test of your creativity. I have chosen zucchini as the main ingredient for the dish, but there's also one ingredient that you must use, and that is gangura pickle. You will fail the challenge if you do not use the zucchini and the gangura pickle. You have 25 minutes to take this zucchini and transfer them to something spectacular by integrating the other ingredient placed before you. 
Get ready, and your time starts now. Hey, Geeta. Hi, Chef. How are we doing? Good, thank you. Tell us about your process of uh, mixing the ingredients. How did you come up with all this? So what I've done is um, I have um, mixed all the, the dry spices, all the masalas, okay. and um, I'm going to kind of braise this. Okay. Um, and I've kind of made small cuts so that it cooks through. Hey, Sham, how are we doing here? We had to take a step back and redo some of this because the masala was a little burnt on this one. Okay. So, hoping there's enough time to, to recoup this. Okay. Sangeeta, how are we doing? I'm trying to make it with the onion, tomato, and putting the paste, and I want to add some pickle in it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Cools down. Now they have created their amazing dishes. It's time to reveal the truth. So let's bring first up Sangeeta. So tell Sangeeta, what did you cook for us? I will name it Sangeeta Special. Sangeeta Special, <laughs> that's good. So I cooked zucchini, I put it like in oil and cumin. I put all my masala in a water in on the side. I put a little bit pinch of the uh, pickle that was most needed ingredient. Okay. So then I put some more because it gave really good flavor. Presentation looked good. Creativity is good there. Taste is very good as well. I just feel you're a little bit overpowered with that gungura pickle. But overall, the dish is tasty. Thank you. Good job. Please take your dish back to your station. Thank you. All right, we have a next up is Sham. Come on over, Sham, with your dish. Wow. Tell us what you cooked for us. So we've got um, zucchini, we've got squash, we've got some chopped onions um, on brand with, a, with my cooking style. A lot of spices, a lot of different flavors and a lot going on in the main dish. And we've also got a side salad. Okay. I do like the crunch of the zucchini in there. Your salad is excellent. Dish looks great. Uh, again, I think uh, overwhelming of black pepper. Supposed to be a little bit more healthier version and all that, but it's good. Uh, could be a little bit more al dente because the way you made it with the salad then. Thank you. Thank you. Last but not the least, let's bring Gita over. So tell us what you made for us. Lightly fried zucchini with onion and pickle. Uh, these are braised uh, zucchini and uh, they are on a um, layer of um, onions and tomatoes which uh, have been cooked along with the gongura uh, pickle. Okay. And then uh, in the uh, zucchini, I have uh, mixed the uh, dry spices um, and uh, most of all the mango powder. I'm hoping that uh, you know you, you like it. Presentation is good. Uh, Innovation is there. I like the what you braised your um, your zucchinis and the cherry pepper and onion uh, slaw. You may put it in the bottom. That's uh, that was excellent. Uh, I would say uh, there was a little bit shortage of uh, salt in this uh, 
uh, but overall it's okay. All right, take your uh, dish at your table. Before I make my final decision of the winner, taste my Achari stuffed zucchini. Use the same the stuff from the zucchini and I added the same ingredients you had. Put it together, cooked it and all that, and then stuffed it back into the zucchini well, with the side salad. Yeah. yeah. That's crunchy too. I like the presentation yes. too. Wow. It's fantastic. It's a lot of flavor in there. Mm. Thank you. Delicious. Shop right cooking star. Welcome guys. Wow, look at those three beautiful people back again. This is the moment of the truth, guys. And winner of this episode, Sham! Congratulations, Sham! Thank you so much. Yes, yes. And for both of you, road may not end here. There's maybe some surprises later on. Who knows? Eating well is necessary not only for our health, but also for our happiness. So remember, eat well and be happy. Also, recreate these dishes you have seen on our show at home and be inspired to be even more creative in your home kitchens. We will be back next week with our last three new contestants for another episode of ShopRite Cooking Star. ShopRite! King Star